there's going to be a lot different noise than you guys when we do that in about three days. So you've probably seen these cases before. This is the new iPhone 11, and this is a rock form phone case. This case is like literally military grade spec for dropping, and it's not gonna damage your phone. Then they have a bunch of cool features. It's got a neodymium magnet in it, so you can stick it to things. We'll stick it to Saul's truck as a demonstration. We can't do it to this, you know why? Aluminum, brother. Anyways, uh, it's also got this locking mechanism, and I'll show you how that works right in here. So we have the suction cup mount, and then we can take our phone and lock it into place. And then we have our phone when we're going on rallies, and we can put uh, our maps and music just like that. So if you guys are interested in these phone cases or any other mounting accessories, we got a link in description. And also, if you use the code HIGHALTITUDE25, you get 25% off your order. So that's a really good discount. And this is a really good phone. This is phone case. It is a good phone, but it's also a good phone case. <laughs> so if you guys want, check them out. Links in description. What's up, guys? Welcome to High Altitude Motorsports. I'm Mike. First off, you guys might be wondering, why does this video look so much different? because we just got a new lens. Here, let me take the camera. Let's show the people what they want. Yeah. Look at this lens, man. Show the people what they want. Go to the Banya really quick. Look at this lens. That's a lens if I've ever seen a lens before. <laughs> so now we got a really nice lens. It's got a good zoom on it. Uh, good lens, higher quality content. We're gonna start filming in 4K for you guys. Uh, we've been noticing that the quality of the videos has been lacking. We kind of did that at first because it takes forever to upload 4K videos into the computer and then onto YouTube. So anyways, exciting stuff. And also we added that new intro. So if you guys like that intro, Ryan spent a lot of time working on that. Make sure to go down below, give us a comment, tell me what you think of it. If you guys like the new intro, we also did an end screen that will help you guys go to our previous video and then like a self-generated uh, algorithm that YouTube does for the next video. So go down, drop a comment, tell us if you guys like it or if you guys hate it. So we have my car here. <coughs> Love the car. It's been great so far. But it's time to, you know, do something unique. So today we're going to teach you guys. Well, not really. It's not going to be a how-to video, but we're going to kind of pull some things apart. We're going to get to the ECU of the car and pull it and then we're going to send it over to Gintani and then Gintani is going to tune it and then they're going to send us back. Why? What, what's going to happen here? This thing should shoot some flames when we get it back from tuning. Well, luckily, McLaren was nice enough to hook us up with this book here that tells us everything. I don't even know where the ECU is. Like, what if it's not in the back of this and we just filmed the whole intro and it's in the frunk? So basically, I just gotta figure out where the ECU is. Battery? Yes. Let's go find out. This is not back here. Yeah, I mean, I, we might as well just keep rolling. Basically, that instruction booklet has nothing about ECU or battery. So I think the first thing that we should do is probably disconnect the battery. The one thing that I'm scared about is that we should probably leave the door open. Oh yeah, yeah, good point. So, before we get too carried away, we're just gonna pull the... Uh, and you're gonna leave that door open because uh, there's no door handle. It's like an automatic thing. Yep. So you don't want the door closed and the battery's disconnected because then there's no way in and out of the car. Yes. That would possibly be a problem, but maybe it wouldn't, but... Better safe way, than sorry. Yeah, we're just gonna... We might leave it cracked. We need to try to see how to pull this stuff apart. Mm -hmm. So we need to confirm 100% that the exhaust is a full straight pipe, which I'm pretty sure it is. 
Who's this? <laughs> ECU removal on the 570S. Yes. I'd assume it's probably in the same spot. Yeah. This is what you guys got to do. We're not going to lie. We don't know everything. And the only way you're going to learn something is by doing it. So we found where the battery is. We are going to disconnect it. So it wasn't pointless. Hey, look at that, Ryan. It's probably on this side. Look at that. You're pretty smart, it is. Man. All right guys, so we got confused for a second. We didn't think we found the ECU, but we did. This is the foam padding that covers the ECU. So this is probably a one-time use and you have to replace it. The ECU, now that the light, you can see is just sitting right here. Oh yeah, look at that. All right guys, so if you're curious about uh, how these clips work, um, basically it's just got a tab and you just fold it back um, if there's any resistance, don't force it. You just want to pull very gently and you just gently pull this back and then these come out. And then there was four bolts. There are just two here, two here, there are tens. And uh, now this ECU, uh, ECU should just come right out. There it is. McLaren ECU right there. I mean, to be completely honest, like people are intimidated about these cars. Just kind of looking at it, I mean, they actually simplify it. Like there's a lot going on here, but for the most part, I mean, it's like literally like the very minimal amount of things that you need for a car. And everything's like... And it's not crowded either. At least the suspension components don't appear to be crowded. Yeah, it's just an upper control arm, a lower control arm. What's kind of interesting is that there's a tie rod in the back. I mean, it's fixed, so it doesn't have steering in the rear, but it's kind of interesting that uh, part is there. Makes it easier for alignment purposes. Always important to get a bag and save your bolts, right? Save the bolts. So we got our compressor running, but yeah, we're gonna save those bolts. That's all the wheel liner hardware. And then this is the ECM hardware or ECU hardware. I don't really know why they call it. Cause like on a truck, it's an ECM, engine control module. module. Right. Engine control unit maybe? Maybe it's a unit. Anyway. Maybe it's a unit. This is uh, that hardware. And then that's the wheel liner hardware. Cause we're just gonna leave this off. No sense in putting it all back together when we're gonna have to take it apart in a couple days. Right. Um, I'll probably, I'll, I'll show you guys, this is our cat, uh, or our downpipe. So you can kind of see in there, it's really not that easy to get, but uh, there's basically this heat shielding, and I'm just going to put the heat shielding back together uh, since we got the pictures we needed. And uh, yeah, this is basically the inside of what it looks like. All right guys, so we just put the wheel back on, that way we can sit it on the ground. We're gonna leave the uh, car torn apart for now. And we're gonna overnight the ECU. And then uh, hopefully we get it back on Wednesday. And then we're gonna put the tune in and all we gotta do is just plug it in and start it. So, should be spitting fire soon. Later. We got some other projects that you guys might want to look at. First off, have you guys ever seen a ginger do wheels and tires before? Uh, I haven't. What the hell are you doing over here? Oh, I'm just doing wheels and tires, you know? You ever seen a ginger do this before? No. Hell so yeah. he's doing some tires on this here. What kind of Mercedes class is this? M ML? ML? GL43. GL43? Interesting. A Nixter over here pulling uh, trans out of here, doing a service. Needs a new clutch, some warranty stuff. Got just, I mean, literally the amount of wheels and tires that come through here is just ridiculous. So then we got Nick over here 
He's on the tire machine doing some Viper wheels. They're actually pretty sick. What's going on? <laughs> yeah, we're over here in Rubber Town, <laughs> as I like to call it. These are just OEM, but they got like that kind of like bronze finish. Yeah, they look really good on the wheel or on the tire. These are some serious slicks right here. Hell yeah. I'm gonna mount these bad boys right up. Guys, we also hired a new employee. Her name's Steph. She's awesome. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so Ryan and I, we're over here trying to get things done, do some work, be productive. It's not happening anymore, is it? Nope. Then we got Steve and James coming over here, disrupting uh, big us. Big Papa Pump to you, sir. <laughs> big <laughs> Papa Pump. on the seat of you, McLean. That's just stuff for you to clean up. <laughs> He's got french fries on his seat. Oh. Oh, yummy. No, Claire. Does the door still open? Dude, are you going to eat those? Or? Yeah, seriously, that's what I'm asking. <laughs> oh, my God. Do you think they're still good? You're crapping french fries? I mean, this McDonald's is supposed to last like a nuclear. Eat it, Steve. You ain't a man unless you eat that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't. He's been too salty. He's been too salty. He's been keeping it warm with his oh, for that last two weeks. Dang, now your breath smells like somebody's <laughs> french fry. Someone eat <laughs> french fry. <laughs> so the guys, oh, I'm gonna, the guys wanted to see the truck. But we can't get to start because Nick, you're in trouble. You left the ignition switch on. The train had sex with a ship <laughs> and had that. Like, all right, folks, we're back. We're about to pull this sucker out the first. James thinks he can lift this thing up. It's only an F350. Do it. See what you can do, boss. <laughs> iPhone basically the ECU is supposed to be delivered on Wednesday and that was the day before Thanksgiving so all the FedEx drivers were lazy I literally watched the FedEx driver drive right past our shop didn't even stop because he was just too lazy and it said that the box was attempted but due to weather or a business being closed they were unable to deliver it which is bull because we were there and we saw him just drive right past so i ended up uh scheduling it just to be picked up uh, unfortunately thursday was thanksgiving so i couldn't pick it up so today is friday it is friday morning and we are basically a minute away from picking up the ecu all right guys, so we came back to the shop. We switched to the DSLR. The box did get damaged at FedEx, which is a good sign. All right, boom. ECU, let's plug it into the car and see what happens.
we'll put it, even though I really shouldn't, but that's okay. We'll put it in the this and man. <laughs> They have tunes literally for everything. The new Supras, uh, BMWs, Mercedes, exotic cars, everything. They're running a good sale. Uh, so yeah, hit me up if you guys need one.